Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the ineffective drinking straw. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is two straws and a glass of water. To start this experiment off, I need a glass of water and two straws. I'm using plastic straws so you can see the liquid going up. So attempt, first what we, we do all the time is we put a straw in water and we attempt to pull water into our mouth. Uh, but now when we do it a second time, we place a, a second straw that's in our mouth but not in the water and then attempt to drink from that straw. And you're going to see that it's almost nearly impossible. The water will come almost up to your mouth but won't completely get there. And you can't really see it um, because the water's clear. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of food coloring in here so you're able to see the liquid going up the straw. And then we're going to do another attempt. Um, First, I'm just going to show you the liquid going up on a single straw, and then I'm going to do the two straws, one in the water and one outside the water, and I'm going to try to suck up the liquid um, with both straws and attempt it, which uh, will not work. So the science behind this is you don't actually suck liquid through a straw. Air pressure pushes the on the surface of the liquid uh, in the glass and forces that liquid up the straw into your mouth. This happens uh, when you reduce the pressure inside the straw by expanding your lungs. If the atmospheric pressure is greater than the surface of the water in the straw, then the water will be forced up the straw. In order for this to happen, the air pressure in your mouth must first be reduced. By letting air into your mouth through the other straw, the pressure within your mouth can never be reduced below the atmospheric pressure. Therefore, you cannot drink out of the straw. You might be able to pull some liquid, but you're not going to be able to drink. So go ahead and give this uh, a try at home and let me know what you uh, find out in the comments below. I believe you're not going to be able to get any liquid into your mouth because you don't actually suck liquid up a straw. Atmospheric pressure pushes that liquid down and up the straw for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.